Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on to share with you my new Bash Your Stash kit. This is the third time I'm doing this with the third series. And this time I've decided to go with more of a spring theme because, um, well in Australia we're going into autumn, but autumn isn't very... Leaves don't fall off, it's not very orange, it's just kind of a continuation of summer, but it gets a little bit cooler. And I know in America it's spring and I love crafting with spring, so I decided to go with that. So I think what we'll start off with is the papers. So I've kind of gone through my stash and I also went through my um, scrap box to grab things that I could use. So I'm starting off with the garden party paper pad i've dipped into this a couple of times to make just some other projects so i've also as you can see used the back piece of chipboard you'll see what that was used for a little bit later on so i'll just give you a flip through of what i've got left i do really like that b paper i think it's really cute so i love how this one has you know the really brights like this but then it also has kind of the muted tones muted I need to cut the cut apart. I am waiting for a spotlight order because my cutting blade has gone completely dull. So that's the paper pad and then I've obviously got a few extras so there's some you know craft paper. Here's some that I've already kind of dipped into. Then I actually have the six by eight paper pad but I have barely any of it left. I think with this kit I want to try and do a little bit of project life and kind of dip into these papers and go from there because there's a lot of little embellishments in this one which I think is a lot more fun to dip into. I actually really like that purple paper and then I have a few others left. That's a Christmas sheet. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, then I have this one. This is my favorite paper in Garden Party. I also have the Sweet Story paper. I think it's going to work well. All I have from Sweet Story is the paper and then the 12 by, sorry, the 6 by 12 stickers. So I think it will work well for that. I, again, I've already dipped into this because I have had this for probably almost a year now. So it's going to be more of a using it up type of thing. And I think this will be fun as well for kind of that end of summer transitioning into spring feel. Uh, so this paper as well, then this one. I've got a vellum sheet because I want to make some more vellum ruffles. This cute swan paper. Some just white cardstock. Some stickers. I don't know why they fell in there. They should be in the embellishment box. I have a cut file. This is the cut file that has been in my Bash Your Stash kit every single time. I carry it over because I find with this one it's very busy. So it's going to take a very particular layout to get it to work. And then also this Heidi Swap um, specialty vellum. Those were the papers that I was working with and this is the embellishments that I've chosen. So you did see these stickers before. But what I've done with this kit is I've also gone into my die stash and my embossing folder stash and grabbed ones out that I either haven't used ever or things that I think might work with the kit or things that I want to use again. So I have these flower ones here, which is this is a rolled flower and then some little ones. So I want to use those. I haven't used those dies before. I have used this die. It's the spring. I think it's by... I think it's by Alina Crafts. I'll double check for you. If you want the link, just let me know. It's a die set, so it says like spring, um, grow, bloom, flourish. That one, it's been around for a while. I think it'll work really well with the garden party theme. And then I also have this muslin folder, which is flowers, which I've never used before. I have this sequins mix that was sent to me by a pen pal. So I just thought, you know, I'll put it in there. You might use it. It'll work with kind of like the bluey tones that are in the kit. Then I have my own sequence mixes that I made ages ago when I made the um, sequence mix tutorial that I did intend to use with Garden Party. I just never ended up using. They're very yellow, so I do want to turn them down with a little bit of green and maybe some more pinks. So I've got these puffy hearts. These are from the Chasing Dreams collection years ago. I've got these little enamel hearts and circles. These are from Coco Vanilla. 
I don't remember the collection. These are some puppy stickers that were sent to me from a pen pal recently. I just thought, you know what, new, no, use them, chuck them in the kits. This is the box of ephemera, but I'll get to that last. Then I have the sweet story sticker sheets. I have touched into it a fair few times, but hoping to use it up. I also have the garden party sticker book, which I haven't used. So this is kind of what I mean for when I want to dip into doing like project life. This will be a big focus. Then we have uh, the garden party sticker sheet. Again, I haven't touched this one yet because I only got it recently. I have these Celebrate Alphas. They're in like a floral. I think they will be really cute. I have this Maggie Holmes Bloom sticker sheet. This is very old. Very old. When was the 2015. So this is seven, seven years old. Uh, I remember this when I first started crafting is when I bought it and I've just never, I've used a couple of sticker sheets. That's about it. The Sweet Story Layered Butterflies. I know that people adore these. These are some wooden hearts that I am carrying over from the previous kit. I also have the Garden Party Chipboard unopened. I do want to use it up. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's going to be a struggle to use it up though because it's so pretty. I also have this gather chipboard. This was in a D stash that I got and it's not going to go perfectly with this, but as you can see, it's starting to kind of fall apart. Things aren't as sticky as they used to be. So that's why I've popped it in here. Then I have the Maggie Holmes crepe paper confetti puffy stickers. These are from years ago. I don't think I'll be using the words, but some of the other accents I'm going to try and use up. This is from 2014, so very old. Uh, this is just a, what are these called? A washi tape. Uh, the Chasing Dreams Puffies. These are from like four or five years ago, just trying to use them up. And these are the Maggie Holmes Shine Thicker Stickers. So they're in there as well. I also just chucked in some wooden dowels because I want to make some mini banners and by popping them in there that'll kind of remind me that it's something that I want to work on. Okay, so this is the container that I've kind of put all of the little ephemera pieces that would fall apart in here so you know you've got your ephemera packs um, and little things that were just kind of floating on my desk. So I had some little paper bows that were sent to me by pen pals. I just thought they would work. Um, I've got my own little foam bows that I made with a die recently. Some random chipboard. This was sent to me from a pen pal. I want to attempt to take it apart, take out those sequins, put my own in. I've got all these wax seals that are again from a pen pal. I love her wax seals. Every time we swap, she sends me more because I adore them. I think they're so gorgeous. So out of my little collection, I grabbed out the ones that I thought color-wise would kind of work with the collection. So, you know, you've got those blues and then the pinks and then some greens and some yellows. These are my own words that I've cut from my Cricut as well. Then I just have this celebrate word. I just put it in here. I highly doubt I'll use it. My hair is everywhere. Then I just have this rosette. This was again sent to me. These are some, again, um, wax seals that were sent. Then I've just got, you know, a whole bunch of random things. So it's pretty much the whole ephemera pack from Garden Party and then a few other little pieces. So this is going to be the Bash Your Stash Series 3 kits. I love doing these types of things because it really pushes me to, I feel like kind of make new stuff because otherwise I get set in my ways and don't really make new things. I kind of just make things that I enjoy making. I have got a list of the things that I want to make. So I've got, I started making one of them already, um, but it hasn't been decorated. And then I've also got just a couple of 3D projects that I want to make. And then also using some of the dies to make handmade embellishments and then also using my Cricut and dipping into that again. So I hope you enjoy watching this uh, introduction video to Bash Your Stash 
series three. If you're joining in, please let me know in the comments and I would love to see the projects that you make with your kit. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to keep seeing more videos like this from me. Bye!